If Alphys has killed herself, I'm going to be a little upset, by the way. Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power! M tether stability lost. EM tether. Wow. Altitude dropping. EM tether. Yeah, M tether. Yo hablo un poquito espanol. And that's what I thought it was. I thought it I thought the elevator suddenly went spang spanglish on me. But thanks, cat. I appreciate it. Oh, well, we're in a creepy ass basement. Entry number 1. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked up by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Holy shit, this just got dark. By the way, it happens and it helps you run through the game and enjoy the story. Yes, that's very true. A metric fuck, yeah, yes, yeah, definitely a metric fu fuckload of plot. By extracting a soul from a living monster, it would acquire incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Holy shit, dude! Is this going where I think it's going? This is dark. <clears throat> Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from. I've ex extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death, the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Holy shit! Seriously? No! All the fucking save points. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door, that's all you could read. Ah, fuck, well. It's a fake plant. Buy chips for 25 gold? Nah, sure, I didn't have enough gold though. Power room. Okay. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? When I'm doing random things, Twitch crashed on you? Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Storm. If their souls persist after they perish, then... Freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust. So I can't get their souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for their funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Damn, it's an operating table? Yeah. This is creepy as fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! Um... Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have touched stuff. Uh, Tarius, thanks for the follow, man. Super appreciate it. Item? The enemy puts a piece of itself in your inventory. I hate bullet hells! Fuck!
God damn, this is creepy. Memory head. Refuse? Oh well. It's a real get together. God damn it, I'm just gonna keep running into shit. Alright, note to self. Are kids playing this game and throughout all the years they've been curious? Wow. Stay determined. Yes, I will fucking stay determined. God damn it. Note to self, don't turn on the goddamn faucet. Let's just read everything. How old is Undertale? Yeah, I don't know. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. Son of a bitch, I have to turn it on. Ugh. God damn it. Yeah, it's two years old. Damn it, twice. Okay, there we go. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I just want to go save first. Because saving also heals me. Hooray! Oh yeah, no, this game was done really well. Like, I... It, it is constantly... Impressing me. Constantly impressing me. number 12. Hey, DZVXO, thanks for the follow. Super appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Good, Storm. Hey, you have to rest, though. You know, drink your tea, make sure you feel better. If there's honey left in the bottom, eat the honey, because it'll help. But you need to rest. One of the bodies opened up its eyes. Whoa. Wait, what? That's it, huh? That's creepy. It's an empty dog food bowl. Seems like a comfy bed. You could probably climb into it if you were to the left of it. It's a bed. It's a fake plant. It's still a bed. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. No. The clock is broken. Entry number 14. Everyone that has fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. I don't want to check under the sheets. God damn. Okay. I'm taking off my headset for this so I can fucking hear. But first of all, have you ever seen the second Grudge movie? 
that ruined my the sheets are safe theory for a shit that goes bump in the night because she comes up from under the sheets and you're gone. It's a yellow key. You put it on your keychain. Uh, should I climb into the bed? Should, should I should I climb on the bed? I think I should climb onto the bed. Why not? I've done everything else in this game. Wait, wait, wait. What? Hold on. Stay in the bed for a little bit? Nope. Nope. Why is it... Sp Ew. No. Oh, thank God. Okay. Body positioning. Arms. Feet, legs, not arms. This was not an arm. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was a... I saw what Pat said, and that's exactly what it freaking was. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden. And I called all of these families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. What the actual fuck? turn into a horror game? There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. God fucking damn it. I hate horror games! Why? Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Pat, stop banning yourself! <laughs> yeah, sorry, you gotta be careful. The, the bot's a little oversensitive. Okay, that's fine. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Hmm. Golden flowers. <coughs> Did she fucking create Flowey? <coughs> oh, oh my god, she made Flowey? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyways. They seem to just stick to you and won't let go. Yeah, this is what I want to see. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 